Hey guys and welcome to the 8th episode of the Ploxa Games Unity 3D How to Make a Zombie FPS Game Series. Now I just want to quickly apologize again about um, me not uploading any videos recently. I'm finishing uh, end of um, grade 12 exams for university next year and things like that, all this fun stuff. And so yeah. Um, and this episode we're going to look at terrain design um, because um, I'm still we've still got to work on the inventory and the animation for adding a player in and zombie in but we'll eventually get to that one um, what we're just gonna do is um, we don't have four. drag this enemy cube into a models folder. If you don't have one, create one. This would just create a prefab. So then we can delete this. And then the player would just save and we'll drag this one in here as well. Um, yeah, just into there. We can delete him as well. So then what we're going to do is we don't need this uh, cube anymore, floor cube anymore. So you can just delete that and save and now what you're going to do is go create and you're going to create a terrain and this is going to create a absolutely massive terrain I think it's 2000 by 2000 um, but just going to have to go to over this side this is where all your settings for your train are just like in normal settings are and you're going to go click settings you set the cog at the end there and you're going to change the train width to about 500 or whatever you want it to be by 500 and that's all fine for now um, and we're just going to create all this stuff from the thing um, I'll just make this 500 and um, yeah that's all fine and we're just going to go over to this first one here and now in this one this is how you raise and lower terrain so in this one you click on like a brush a sort of brush and you click and hold and move to create uh, height and stuff like that so just basically follow along if you want but I'm just going to create just a simple design for now um, I'll just make it like this for now and I will actually I will do go to the second one paint height and we'll make the height um, 25 and we're just going to make this 25 and actually we'll make the brush, oh the brush is full size, we'll make the opacity 100 um, this is just gonna flatten it out so then um, we can just decrease the size of the map instead of having to increase everything so just go around the whole map, whole terrain just raise that and then when that's done we'll just go to back to the raised lower terrain and to lower we're going to have to hold shift and then lower it like that so we're going to make the opacity back to about we'll make this just 25 then brush size 100 and I'm just going to choose nah maybe this one mm. I like that one actually, we're just going to make this opacity about 40 and I'm just going to brush over the edges just holding down and then we're going to make this passive down a lot and just do this small little thing on the sides 
small little bumps on the sides, I suppose. Put up a little bit. Just drag around the side. Now it looks really weird at the moment, but I'm just going to go to the third bar in and smooth it with this one and put it about 56. And put a little bit more for this side. Just smooth all this out. Um, uh, um you go over that again, I suppose I think I'm bringing up I actually just need a bumpy surface, so just remove a lot of the bumps, and we'll just make it sort of like an arena with this little little thing in the middle, and we're just gonna go back to raise and lower, and we're gonna lower some stuff in this corner, whoop, pass it down. Brush size down. Makes it like a canal. And then just sort of just build it up. And then we'll go and smooth that out again. Yeah. There we go, that's nice. Put some water in there and we're just going to create a... I don't know if I like that or not. Um, Pretty cool for the corner. No, um, maybe this one. No, um, just make the passage down a bit. Just um, build the edges up, I suppose, so it doesn't look so, so bad. down like a little ramp there you might create put a little house on the edge there something like that and you can always come back and edit that but that's that done for now not very good but <laughs> that's fine for me and then we're going to go to the fourth one in and paint textures on so what you want to first do is um, click on the edit textures button click add texture and you're going to go here where it says texture and select a texture and in this one we're going to search for grass oh we haven't imported the product so just close all that and go assets import package and import the terrain assets folder package and click import that'll import and it'll give you all these cool free things and then we're just going to go back into edit textures add texture select and search for grass and probably just going to do a grass all around and I'm going to change this to about three to make it a, a better um, so a better look and it's just, just going to change the whole color of the thing and we're just going to leave that and then we're going to go and click edit textures again and add texture select again and I'm going to give a sand no and, um, let's go with dirt Change this to three as well. Now these are just free um, textures, so they're not going to be that good, but hey, they're good enough, I suppose. Yeah, I'll click on this one. 
and you're going to have to change the opacity up and the target strength up as well let's put these guys up a lot and make this about this one make it smaller and then make it bigger fill that in and then we're going to bring these down and sort of that make it a little dirtier on the way up and all around the edges looks a bit weird but oh well I suppose and then we will choose this one and edit textures add another texture and Um, cliff, and we're gonna call changes to three as well. Again, add, and it's a little bigger, and just color all these hills in in a uh, oh, draw that sorry, in a uh, stony color, stone texture, a cliff texture. So just really color them in. And then bring the target strength down maybe put some lower stuff on here and then some even lower over here put it all over here baby give that nice texture oh no opacity um, and then We'll go down here. I'm going to create sort of a pathway to make this small. About there. Ooh, bit big. something like that, maybe over there and that way I don't know <laughs> um, seems pretty decent to me at the moment and then we'll just put like a little area where they can all start save that and then drag our models back on make sure he's above the train so and then back to movement up yeah, he's up, and then we'll just drag this enemy character on, cube on, and then test it out. Alrighty, so we're here. This is the terrain. It's pretty decent, actually. Looks alright, actually. <laughs> Not that good, but hey. Uh, now we're gonna have to fix him and the gunner animations. It's not in 
hitting him until it's like in him. So if you guys know anything how to fix that, uh, that would be so very much appreciated. Um, uh, just that and some other things down here. Uh, that the um, character movement and stuff like that. I uh, just gotta have quick looks into that. Maybe we could change the color of that thing, but no, I don't know anymore. And um, one last thing is adding water in. And actually, there's a few few more things we could do. Um, um, assets input package water basic import that and then just wait for it to load in and then when that's done we can just search for it um, we we'll did daylight water and then we'll just scale him up about the size of the land and then move him around move it up a bit. Now this thing doesn't do um, when you go under the water, see how it's just invisible, what you need to do is, is when you, your camera comes into contact with that or when you go under that your view changes to like a, a water colour uh, screen sort of thing but um, that's that for now. Um, now with our directional light what we're going to do is bring it up and across and make it so it's sort of in the view of the character over the top of the land and then we're going to add a um, flare to that so double click on the action and we do import those um, so again sorry import package and um, flares, light flares there. Import, and that's done. And then just go click on flare and do a sun flare because that's our sun. We're going to change the color to a yellowy color, and we're going to make it a little more intense. We'll do about a six point six, and we're going to do soft shadows. Um, high resolution. So, wait, use quality settings. And draw how they are. That might be fine for now. Play, and then we go into it, and we look up at the sun, and there you go. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So. And there's our shadows, they're not very good, but oh well, they're shadows, so they're bait, they're free shadows. So, and as I said, yeah, if you go into the water, it does nothing, we're gonna have to do that as well. So, that's that for this episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Sorry, it's a bit of a weird um, episode, just kind of had to get one out because I haven't done anything in, in a while because of school stuff, um, but uh, thanks for staying in and watching and everything uh, it's really great to see that you guys are liking my tutorials so uh, thanks for watching uh, remember comment rate subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode bye